What up, Mash fam? Back at y'all with a, another, an, uh, uh, I'll tell you, boy, another reaction. We're gonna watch some church. What's up, Creek Squad? What up? If you like what you hear, like what you see, ding. Hello. Where'd you go? Hit that subscribe, hit that like button. Don't forget to ring that bell, get notifications when I post new videos. Church. Let's go. Spark plug, Doug. <laughs> Smell that? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You guys, very much. Give me a hug. Give me a hug again. Cool handshake moment. I just don't know the handshake yet. It's been some time since I've been around these parts. What the fuck y'all been doing, man? Lately, I've been making my life. Little bit dumb, little bit Well, guess who busted a block a minute ago? Guess who just. Getting rolled up in the rusty old Buick. Guess who fucking who fucking hanging this little head out the window? Hi, it's me again. Hi, it's me. Remember me? It's me. You're about to hit the car in front of you. Hi, Mary. Yeah, him. Yeah, he's back. Uh huh. I'm, he got a new name though. There was lots of names that were funny as fuck. That you guys put in that community on YouTube. Fucking four barrel Daryl! <laughs> Water pump Willie! Alternator Allen! Fucking radiator Roger! <laughs> Spark plug Doug! <laughs> Freeze plug Fred! <laughs> Blinker fluid Blake! <laughs> Fuck, that was so much fun. But yeah, that guy. Oh, don't worry! I am not mad, nor am I disgruntled. <laughs> I guess he's talking about that dude that uh he likes to talk about all the time. Or the dude that always is in his on his nuts trying to get something from him. <laughs> this makes the best videos! Me here and there doing a video about a bad <laughs> place! Fuck him! You wanna go, bitch? You wanna fuck a piece of me, motherfucker? Welcome! Hold on! There we go. Motherfucker, you want a piece of me, motherfucker? Bring it! You want a fucking bring it! Okay, so, first of all... Hang on one second, let me go grab my snare drum. Oh, it is still recording. <laughs> Look, I got it. Drum roll, please! Ryan. I had to. Ryan. Ryan. What, fuckhead? What do you want? I'm starting to sound like a YouTube dad, man. You know how our dads was when we were younger? What? Fucking, it's fucking, it's 11. No. No. What, fuckhead? What do you want? This is not going to be too long of a video. Yeah, we know, we know. You say that in all your videos. This is not going to be that long. It ain't going to be that long. It ain't going to be that long. It's never fucking long. Your brain can't handle it. I would love to see you fucking work a cash register. I would love to see you fucking type a total up that says $11.83. And I would love someone to hand you a $20 bill and then watch diarrhea spray out of your fucking ears because your brain takes a shit because you can't figure it out. That's you. So with that being said, go on with your 1996 quality and your Malibu's most wanted outfit, you fucking weirdo. I just want to address a few things. Aha, uh -huh. I see your acting skills. You're getting pretty not, not, not good. <laughs> he does this video like this. <sighs> Exhale to make sure you know he's being serious. Turn to the right, away from the camera, to make sure you know he's intimate about what he's going to tell you. All right, here we go. Ryan. You suck. Number one, Ryan. Ryan. Bro. 
Ryan. Well, actually, hang on. We're going to put you on a back burner. We need to address these fans real quick. We must address these fans. And by addressing fans, I mean we must put this dress on these fans. And then, and then after that, I'm going to have sex with them after I turn them on. See? The freaking propeller man? There's a lot of y'all coming to my inbox. No, they're not. You're lying. No, they're not. All y'all who are coming to my inbox. No, they're not. You're mad. You deleted all your shit because you couldn't handle it. All the skin's fucking your shit up, making you angry. Because you get mad over stuff like this. <laughs> not to me. So you deleted all your videos, you deleted your channel, and it still made you mad. So you recreated another one to make another video claiming you don't care. When you went really, really out of the way. Because you care. <laughs> Dude, hot shoes are the shit, bro. They are good. I love hot shoes. But anyway, what were you saying, Larry? Larry Neutron? There's a lot of y'all coming to my inbox talking about hits being put out on me. R-H-E-C. Hits from Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> Hits from Ryan, man. Hits? What are you talking about? You put hits out on dangerous people, right? Like if you can't deal with someone, like if this mobster can't deal with this guy, he puts a hit out on this guy. Right? Why the fuck would I put a hit out on you? Look at you. You have the fucking body type of a stop sign. Hyena body type ass motherfucker. Long neck ass. Shiny forehead, five head, almost looking ass. Praying mantis in the XL blue shirt, looking ass. Slenderman. And who ain't even scared? Hey, Slenderman who gets scared himself, looking ass. Uh, <laughs> if you put a lamp on your head, cell phone tower, looking ass, motherfucker. Fucking little fan in the corner that goes like, looking ass. Drumstick, looking ass. And all this crap and threatening to come hunt me down and do all that bullshit. Here's the thing. Yay! We're so excited for you to tell us about the thing. For one, it's not your fight. What fight? What fight, Gumby? Only thing you finna do is give somebody cat scratch fever. Down now. Cat scratch fever. Down now. Plus, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So stop riding his nuts. I mean, I don't know who the fuck you're talking about, but there must be a mirror in front of you and you must be giving yourself the best advice ever right now. For two, talking about hits out on me and then mentioning Ryan's name in the process, it's probably not a good idea. Mentioning what kind of glasses is he wearing? Ryan's name, you know, it's probably not a good idea. I'm making these faces like this to make it look like I'm belittling whoever I'm supposed to be talking to. To make me look like the bigger person. Because, you know, when people do this kind of face, they're a douchebag most of the time. And they're like, you know, I mean, I'm this big and you're this big. And the only reason they do that is because they're fucking stupid and you're not stupid. So they have to make these certain faces like this to make sure they feel like they look more not stupid you know what i'm saying like it, it's not it's not a good what's he wearing what kind of glasses are those Bad idea. okay i'm gonna filter what you're thinking but don't want to say so you choose other words to make it look your video looks like shit is what i'm saying but what i'm trying to get at is i will filter what you're actually thinking right now see what it is is You've done, got on here, started a bunch of shit, right? With me. But I don't care, because I turned it into videos, and it's fucking awesome, and it's fun, and it makes me smile inside. But, anyways, what happened is you didn't talk all this shit, right? And, and at first, you probably were like, oh, man, this is going to be great. It's going to be big and forward. It's going to be some YouTube classic stuff, right? Oh, shut the fuck up. No. And during this process, you actually got mad, because you brought it upon yourself. You're not as clever as I. So be it. You'll never be able to win against me in a fucking YouTube video. Why? Because I'll break apart every cell of your fucking body and put it on the internet. 
and I know how to do certain things that will just make you so mad that you'll just want to fucking explode. But anyways, what has happened is we live close together. So you have people out in public where you actually live when you get off of social media talking shit. And you probably have them out there in Dixon being like, hey, like a dinner Larry, you fucking bald bitch. And shit like that. And you're probably like, wait, I'm not like an IPG, wait. And it probably makes you feel some type of way. So what you did was, first, you tried to delete everything. Be like, I'm done with this crap. I'm done getting called like a dinner Larry out in public. I want to go to the gas station and get cigarettes and a bagel without somebody calling me fucking like a dinner Larry. So what you did was, you fucking, you, you got really mad. Then, you got on your little phone and was like, I gotta I gotta redeem myself. So you made a fucking another YouTube channel and you made a god dang video and you're on this motherfucker talking about, well, I don't give a fuck, motherfucker. You, what are you? <laughs> I don't know why this is just so entertaining me to watch this go back and forth. This is 26 minutes long. Holy crap, I didn't realize that. <laughs> you're not a fucking musician. You're not a fucking... <laughs> You're a lacquer thinner Larry, that's exactly what you are. Because now, see, what you've done, if anybody puts their little grummy paws on me... <laughs> Did this motherfucker just say grummy paws? Little grummy paws on me? <laughs> little grummy paws? <laughs> little grummy paws on me? You said grummy paws, you fucking fag! Don't put your grummy paws on me, mister! <laughs> Ryan. Ryan! Don't you want to with some other teriyaki sauce on me with your grummy paws? <laughs> I know you're laughing right now, motherfuckers! Ryan. He's got grummy little paws, he does! <laughs> Motherfucker, what? Then some innocent fan in my inbox who was talking about hits and Ryan and all this crap it's going to be the one question because those are the messages I'm going to show the police when they show up. I'm going to call these fucking police on you. I'm going to call these fucking police on you. I'm going to call these fucking police on you. I'm going to call these fucking police on you. Listen, no one has a hit out on you, guy. No, no, one, no one gives a fuck, okay? No one's going to spend money to pay someone to come do something to you. Not me, not anyone else. My name's Larry and I live in a space world. Same shit. You're still in a space world, motherfucker. No one's out to get you. Stop snorting coke or whatever the fuck it is you're doing. You're doing too much of it. Okay? No one's out to get you. You have like 10 subscribers. I may be overshooting by 11. Who knows? I'm not gonna call them on whoever beats my ass. Now, now, which one is it, fuckhead? Because you just said a minute ago, I'm gonna show the police. I'm gonna show the police. Which one is it? So I'm not even gonna fight you back. I'm just gonna wait for you to be done with your business, leave, and then I'm gonna call the cops and I'm gonna show them those random messages. Guys, dude. You're horrible at YouTube. Just stop. <laughs> How many feet do you have? Let me see your pants. I bet they have ten legs, and you've stuck all your boots in your mouth so you have no more zapatos, which is shoes in Spanish. Okay? No mas zapatos for you. Fuck you. I'm calling the police. I ain't calling the police. I might call the police on you. I ain't no snitch, motherfucker. Something tells me that you have something clinically wrong with you. Now moving along to Ryan. Ryan. <laughs> This dude is, like, it's crazy. It's like, they need to put him in a mental institution because he's really obsessed. What is on the corner of his glass? Okay, that's the hat. Where do you get those glasses at? The gas station on the way to the park where he's peeping on the kids? That's where, is that where he's at right now? Is it watching kids play? I mean, I wouldn't let that guy nowhere near. I don't even know if he should be able to be near a park or a school. Or especially a YouTube video. Dude, she was a little bit of a weirdo. You, first of all, need to pay Big Murph for blah blah. You better fucking pay him for blah blah for a fucking dick about it. There he goes, like a little Larry, sticking his finger in any butthole he's sticking in. Hey, come here, make some power. I'm stick my finger in your butt. I'm stick my finger in your butt. Get over here, boy. I'm gonna get my. <laughs> look at all the butt fingers I got. Listen, bud. If that in particular artist feels like I owe him something, then he can come to me about it. 
And then guess what? If anything was fucking missed, I can do this. I can grab my fucking checkbook and write him a fucking check and hand it to it. But if he's out here saying shit like this to you, someone who is a fucking idiot, well then, well I guess it's a lesson learned. I'll just write him his check for his royalties and hand him his check and then go to my little fucking desk and just, you know, just fuck, erase all my tunes. That fucking simple. And as far as my knowledge is, no, I don't owe him no fucking money. But you know what? If I did, well then guess what? I would just fucking pay him. Oh my god. Mind blown. Someone who actually does what they say, man. It's fucking crazy, man. There was a little album release party a few months back. Tell me more, tell me more. Yeah, I bet you was there. Tell me more, tell me more. Did you shave your dick hair? And during that album release party, I heard and learned a lot of shit. You know, lately I've been thinking about going to album release party school, too. I want to learn some stuff and some shit as well. I need a master's degree and stuff and shit. You are one shitty son of a bitch. You know why? Because I already got my master's degree and stuff and shit. Just in time was a little bit upset. About what, Tessa? Well, actually, he was kind of upset that you dropped at least three videos in the same time frame that Rebels Only was also going to drop. Okay, and what? What do you want me to do about it? My schedule revolves around what I'm doing, okay? I don't give a fuck what anyone else is doing. Everyone knows that. <laughs> people who are my friends that are in music, people who aren't my friends in music, everyone knows I don't give a fuck what's going on with anyone else. I care about what's going on with me. Which is why I make so much music. I mean, this is the thing. Look at you, Lacquer Thinner Larry. You're worried about another man's life and an altercation with that man's life and other men's lives. Do you see how fucked up that bracket is? It means you don't give a fuck about yourself or what you're doing. You see, that's the thing. Everyone who blocks everything out and just does what they do and takes care of their business when they need to and don't fucking have their nose stuck somewhere else well, I'll be damned. Them are the ones that get shit done now, aren't they? Now, listen. I'm not saying what you're saying is fucking legitimate. I don't even fucking know. I don't believe a goddamn thing that comes out your motherfucking mouth. So, with that being said, I'm not taking your word for shit. If any of them have something to say to me, they'll come to me and say it. Okay? They're not going to fucking tell you. Why the fuck would they tell you some shit like that? If it's true, oh my god, it's true. If it's false, oh my god, it's false. My day-to-day -day life, it doesn't matter if it's true or false, to be honest. I'm still gonna wake up, I'm still gonna feed my dogs, I'm still gonna cut my grass, I'm still gonna ride my dirt bike, I'm still gonna ride through town, I'm still gonna hang out with my homies, I'm still gonna ride my street bike, and guess what? I'm still gonna make a lot of albums and a lot of songs and shoot a lot of fucking music videos and make a lot of fucking YouTube videos, regardless of anyone likes me or not. <laughs> Done! That's all there is to it! I was there. I heard it with my own big ass ears. Yeah, I see them big motherfuckers. If you twist your nose, will it switch to shade 4-5? Just like these big ass ears heard Big Murph out of his own mouth say you did not pay him for blah blah. Listen, listen, stop, stop. I'm not taking your word for nothing. If I hear it from somebody credible, then I'll take their word. But I'm not taking your word. And like I said before, if that's the case, I'll pay him the difference if I miss something. If I did, so fucking be it. Check written, hand him check, delete song off iTunes, problem solved, done, bye, moving on to the next thing. Now if these are lies, then they're just fucking liars too. I don't know, homie, I hope you figure out the mystery with Velma and Fred and Daphne. <laughs> My circle is so much smaller than it used to be already, and it's different than it was in 2016, so... Hope you figure out your mystery, Shaggy Doo. And they can feel free to come down into the comments and prove me wrong, but you fucking said it. I put it on my kids, you fucking said it. Yeah, well, I don't know. That's for you to take up with them, not me. I don't fucking care. I also heard an awesome track from Mirth where you were totally, totally outdone by him. Well, fuck to the air. That's awesome. What do you mean to do? You mean to hate on that? You mean to hate on the fact that you like someone else's music? 
Boo you! <laughs> like he outrapped you like a motherfucker. Then how fucking dare you, Larry? Your ears broke up with my music? And that's why, according to him, you won't drop that shit. Won't drop what shit? <laughs> Let me tell you something, fucker. Hold on a minute. You know what this is? This little round brown ball? That's a deer turd. Yeah. I just dropped that shit! <laughs> fucking! I told him he should just go ahead and fucking drop it. You know, fuck you. You know, that's great, great knowledge you give, lacquer. Yeah, fuck it. Break the law, piss off this really big artist, and just release something he don't like anyway. That'll work. That'll make your career go great. No, it won't. It's the same thing with the tracks you have with Anthony Beast Mode. You will not drop those tracks either for a reason. Reason being, they were rushed and I don't like them. Is there anything wrong with being truthful? I don't think there is. I mean, you really, really need to stop being a shitty person. <laughs> a shitty person. Yeah, no, a shitty person, like, punches old people and knocks them out and steals their stuff. A shitty person, like, slashes tires of their, like, ex-girlfriend or boyfriend, you know? A shitty person smokes meth with their kids in the car, you know? Those are shitty people. But you're referring to me as a shitty person because I'm selective on what music I want to put out. And I just don't sling shit out there all the time, you know what I mean? Like, I really want to go through my stuff and make sure it's really, really, really sounds good and really makes sense for the people who watch my stuff. You see what I'm saying? I'm really selective and I go over the same tracks a lot of the times and I change a lot of stuff and um, yeah, that's how I do things and that's how- Does this dude like spend every day of his life just talking about someone else's life? I mean like every day he's just always on this dude, on Ryan's nuts. Like, it's bad. Always making crazy stories up or what, whatever it might be. But, I mean, he must smoke a lot of meth. So I'm always going to do things, so it's nothing against any of them guys. I just don't want the tracks out because I think they don't sound good. It's so good. there's that. I mean, it is what it is. A lot of people are shitty. Hell, I'm shitty. You can call me whatever you want in these comments. I don't give a fuck. Your opinion don't matter. I might entertain it because I'm stoned just that fucking goddamn bored. But you also need to go ahead and just clear the air. Yeah, yeah, I've been trying to clear the air the whole time I've been making this goddamn video. Somehow, some way, I can smell your nasty ass breath through the pixels in the phone. For real. Because you totally spit at you, bitch. You did it. Just, just admit that you did it. Yes, Larry. Yes, I just spit on you, Larry. I did. Now maybe you can go do something in a corner if you know what I'm saying. Those are the facts. Was that supposed to be like a punch or a slap or <laughs> what? Those are, those, are, those are fucking, those are facts, okay? You hear me? Those are, those are freaking facts, okay? Stop it. That's some facts. So, stop being a shitty person. Be a good person. Be the person you portray yourself to be. Betray yourself to be one with the universe, okay? Betray yourself to be like, be like a sunflower, you know? <laughs> it's okay if your ego gets hurt a little bit. Look at yourself, Larry. You're trying to make me angry, and it's not working, Larry. You can't break through my mind, Larry. My mind's way stronger than yours, Larry. Try harder, Larry. It's okay if you want to be shady and not pay people what you promised to pay them. That's okay with me. I don't give a fuck what you do. Oh, Larry, we both know that's a lie, Larry. Look at you. You're sitting in the middle of a landfill with a fly flying around your head. It keeps going up your nostril and in your ear. You keep swatting at Alpo video. I can tell by the look on your face you're getting really frustrated with yourself. Oh, yes, you are. You probably already filmed this video like five times trying to figure out what to say because you're not that good at editing, so you have to really, really think about it before you click that button. But Larry, it just doesn't work on me, buddy. 
You see how steady my hand is while I hold the phone? See that? You see how steady it is? Mmm, you like that? It's real crispy, right? Because I'm not shaking going, you know, you're really fucking pissing me off. <laughs> no, sir, not me. Steady hand as always. Try harder. You're not trying hard enough, Larry. I'm just here to show that you are a shitty motherfucker. What'd you say to me, boy? You want to be a YouTuber? Drop down and give me goddamn 30 videos, motherfucker. You thought you could make it? Cut it out on YouTube. You can't cut it. Look at yourself. You skinny little string bean son of a bitch. You can't even hold a phone without shaking. You want to make videos, motherfucker? You want to trash talk something? Bitch? You better bring your shit with you. You better bring enough to fucking fill up a goddamn landfill. You're not the man that you portray yourself to be. Are you like trying to like cast some like homosexual spell on me right now? What are you doing? You're not the man you portray to be. You don't <laughs> like to smell like Abercrombie and Fitch and wear man boots. You like to wear high heels and you like to smell like Victoria's Secret. You don't like full wheelers and stuff. You like Barbie dolls and hair products. Please love me, Ryan. Ryan. But at the end of the day, I'm kind of done with this whole entire situation. Well, that, that's, that is so great. You know, right after you, you make another YouTube channel, delete your other shit, then make another video, and then get on here and then post it, now you're done. And for the 11th time. Listen, motherfucker, why don't you take your I'm going to the beach in 2002 outfit, by the way, you're missing the fucking little shell necklace. Go to Walmart. They got them. Take all that stuff and shove it up your ass and throw up a bunch of Salt Life stickers with your non-Salt Life living ass. So, at this moment, I'm not going to be making no more videos. Will you hurry up with your fucking videos so I can get off here and get on fucking Discord for I gotta wake up and run errands, you lazy bitch. And I know you're not going to address these Alex Date. These Alex Date. These Alex, these Alex Date. Yeah. Oh shit, are you okay? Did my imaginary dick get stuck in your throat? <gasps> oh, no. You're not gonna address these allegations because, well, it makes you look like a piece of shit. Well, I addressed all of them. Do I get a prize now? I want one of those candy necklaces that make your neck all sticky. Those are my favorite. So you can turn this into some kind of comedy video. Check. Make fun of the way I talk. Check. The way I look. And also check. I don't give a fuck about any of that. Well, then I guess that concludes everything like a thinner Larry. This is not even really a pen. This is actually something I don't even know what the fuck it is. But it looks good. Anyways, thank you like a thinner Larry for joining the show today. You're 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 a like a thinner Larry. That's what you are. But I will say this to the fans. I will be taking all my like a thinner Larry videos, combining them together. I'm going to take the revenue from only the Lack of Thinner Larry videos on YouTube, and I will be buying another YFZ450, and I'm gonna decal it. Yes, you're hearing me right. I'm gonna get the four-wheeler dipped in nothing but overlapping Lack of Thinner Larry faces. Yes, I'm That's gonna make a Lack of Thinner Larry four-wheeler with his face all over it, and I'm gonna ride a willy with his face. Don't believe me? You wait. You just wait. Love you guys! Ryan. <laughs> if he was to do that, that'd be great. If you do that, make sure you post it. <laughs> if he hadn't already, I don't know. That's great. Oh my god. That's like... Make sure you like piss on it and stuff too a few times. That dude's really weird. Mm-mm-mm. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, Ryan. Have you noticed when that guy talks, he's like, like, twitches his head? I think he is gay, because he's like, when, if you want to address the allegations, I think just, oh. It's hilarious. Anyway, I'm sorry. If you like what you hear, like to see it, the subscribe with that like button. Uh, don't forget to ring that bell, get notifications when I post new videos. Mash family, I love y'all. Cree squad, love y'all. Church. Peace.